Hey, iPhone Wiz back again. Um, this is my first video in a long time. Um, been at college, haven't had a lot of a lot of time to do much. But I keep getting a lot of questions about um, adding ROMs to emulators. So today I'm going to make a video showing how to add um, ROMs to every emulator. I can't necessarily um, give you a link to the ROMs, but I can tell you some sites or whatever where you can find them. Alright, first thing you want to do is you're going to have to download the emulators. They're all found on Cydia, um, so just download them. Once those are set up, come back to this video. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, I, today I'm going to show you how to do um, an SNES. Just It's the same as all the other ones. Um, go to any website. I'm at uh, ROM Hustler, and um, you're going to go and find the ROM you want. So I have chosen Aladdin, so I've already waited the time, so you click it and download it. Um, you can see Aladdin right there. I'm going to open it up, my file. Um, this one looks like it gives you several, uh, s several, several different versions of it. I'm just going to choose the first one. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto my desktop. See, there it is. Alright, we can close that out and close this out. Now you're going to have to open up WinSAP. Um, your um, iPhone does have to be jailbroken, of course. Um, and if you don't know how to SSH, you can, there's, look at my videos, I'll probably put a link in the description, um, how to SSH. So you're going to open that up, and we're going to log in. So once you're in here, um, you're going to go, you're going to go back one go up one and you're gonna go to mobile media and ROMs um, this should be in here with the newer versions of the emulators I think it automatically puts in the folder so you're gonna have your ROMs so these are the these are the emulators I have right now um, Game Boy Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo there's one more the PSX but uh, I don't use that one and then there's the arcade one. Um, so SNES, make sure if you're gonna if you have to add these folders in, I don't think you're gonna have to, but make sure they're all capitalized. That's a big thing. But most likely this is how it's gonna look for you. So go into it, SNES. Now we're gonna go back to the file that we've saved on the desktop right here. Just drag and drop that in. You're gonna hit copy. It's gonna take a few seconds. Okay. Once this is done, okay, there it is. Once it's done, you're going to right click on it, go to properties, and then you're going to change the octal down here to 777 and hit enter. And just go back up. Um, you can look, this should be set to 777 right now. See, it's already set to that. You may have to change it, you may not. Once that is done, you shall be able to go to your emulator. And I can't really, I can't show you. Um, I can't show you it on this screen, of course. But I'm going to try to play the sound for it for you to see if this works. So I downloaded Aladdin. Let's see if you can hear that. Um, hold on one second. So you can hear the sound. That is definitely Aladdin music. So it does work. And that is it. And that's the same for every... Hold on, let me pause this. This is the same for every um, emulator. For the Game Boy, you would just add your ROMs. See, I have I have a lot of ROMs in here. And um, if you if you want to add a lot of ROMs like this, you can just hit Control A and then select all the permissions and set them to 777. But you have to make sure you set them to 777, or they won't play and they won't save. So see, I have them for everyone. It's the same process, and that's it. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment. 
Um, if you, I have some time right now, so if anyone uh, needs any uh, videos they want made or have any questions, I'll answer them with a video. Um, and uh, that's it. Okay, um, this is iPhone Wiz signing out.